G'day guys, welcome to another Wrestling Figure Toy Hunt video. Hope you can subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to be hitting up a few stores, starting things off at this big shopping centre and uh, hoping to find something new. A bit like Buddy's new AJ Styles shirt right here. Okay, first store, in we go. It is a toy world. Let's see what they've got. Seth Rollins figure here. Yeah, uh, I do like this Top Picks Undertaker figure. I think the likeness of this figure is really, really good. Uh, Bray Wyatt figure up there, Fun Firefly Funhouse. Uh, only one elite figure, <laughs> and it was a Carmella. Uh, Championship Showdown Series, the British Bulldog and the Big Boss Man. Great to see this. The likeness on this Bulldog, I, I don't see the connection. And the uh, Boss Man figure, I think, a bit too much on there as well. China and Trish Stratus, pretty, pretty cool on that one. And... <laughs> They've still got the Andrade figure I nearly bought what last time I was here. Um, all right, moving on. We're at a Target store now. Let's see what they've got. They have got a few things on the bottom shelf here. Some basics, some elites. Let's have a look and see what they've got. Yeah, the Otis figure. We've seen that quite a few times. Braun Strowman. Uh, elite. Pretty cool figure there. I like the big figures. Uh, Randy Orton. Uh, good figure, basic figure of course, but I like the tattoos and everything on there. I like this figure here of Triple H um, in the sort of general manager, NXT sort of manager type attire. I think that's pretty cool actually. Uh, Dominic Dijakovic, uh, as I sort of flick through here, what have they got back here? Now this John Cena figure, I really like it. It's a basic, but at least unlike all the other basics where they have a painted on shirt, um, this one's, you know, more of the sort of, well, it almost looks like an elite without the shirt because um, that looks really good as I sort of flick through here and see if there's anything else I can find uh, worth showing you. Uh, just a bit of much of the same as we look back here I've sort of found something back here what have we got who is this I can't tell it is uh oh yep Jake Atlas figure we've seen him gosh this guy blink and you'll miss him because he's already gone from the WWE he had a bit of a stint on AEW I don't know if he's sort of still doing anything there a few more elites as we look through here uh Bray Wyatt and Candice LeRae, I think that is. And somewhere back here, I do like this figure of Santos Escobar. I like the belt. I love that there's an interchangeable masked head as well, so you can really swap that around. Really, really cool. I like that one. But um, I'll get back to this figure. It seems more like a figure of Paul Levesque. Yes, Executive Vice President of Global Talent Strategy and development, not Triple H, and that's what I think this figure would be cool to have in the collection, to use him as that sort of elite executive. Um, just before we leave the target, I thought you guys might like to see this. They had the new Buzz Lightyear movie toys, uh, a couple of figures there, the smaller sort of size ones, a couple of spaceships. Uh, this is pretty cool, the helmet, or, well, probably more just the visor, really, but, I mean, if you're a kid, you'd probably enjoy running around with that on, a bit of fun. Of course, it does look like a fun movie. I might have to check it out. There's a bit of a vehicle there. And spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Yes, Zerg spoiler does alert. seem to be in this one. Uh, there he is right there, looking pretty cool. And there's a couple of the side-by-side -side figures. Uh, maybe one of them's the chase, the old one there. Uh, all right, moving on to another target. Let's see what they've got here as we have a bit of a look. Nothing but basics, I think. There's a Braun. We've seen that one a million times, haven't we? But... Uh, yeah, I wonder if he'll come back to the WWE. I suspect he's holding holding off joining anywhere else, uh, although he did have an appearance quickly in Ring of Honor or something like that. Um, yeah, big, big, dis big disappointment. Otis, you know, is part of Alpha Academy. Just such a lame tag team, such a lame character. I don't like him in that at all. They really should have given him more of time as a singles competitor. Um, yeah, look, this guy, I can't even really tell you his name, I just don't even know who he is, but just the blonde hair, the moustache, the, the tattoos, just, you know, just a pointless, a tight, pointless sort of figure. Um, Bobby Lashley, great figure, I've never had a Lashley in my collection, I really should pick that one up, it is a great figure there as we sort of sift through the last little bits, anything else back here worth showing you, I... Don't know. Yeah, here's another one of Jake Atlas. That what I kind of like about this figure is he's such an unknown that you know you could use it as a jobber or even a custom sort of figure of some sort, and uh, you know bring a new person into your 
federation or your collection and just see how you go from there. It's always a bit of fun. But uh, look, that's about it for the um, the toy hunting. I, now we, we turn to the mail call and ringside collectibles have been able to, del- to deliver on some figures that I simply wouldn't get on the shelves here in any way, shape or form. Here's the goon figure. What a great figure. Look at all those accessories, the hockey top, the hockey stick. It's just a great figure. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got, got to admit I've never actually seen the goon wrestle I don't even he was such a short-lived talent in the WWF in the 90s but um look at him there he looks I think he was based on a bit of a sort of happy Gilmore type character anyway um had to buy a new commentators play set my old one that I had which came with a Shane McMahon elite that just got slammed through so many times it eventually just packed in and so great to have a new one of those and this figure is simply awesome I think to have the Miz in a suit you know you can do so much with this figure from Miz TV episodes to of course you know him just showing up on and interrupting matches I think it's really good to see this guy in a suit because he is in a suit a lot of the times had to pick up that figure a few good ones in the whole basic series there Uh, and I picked up two I might throw one of them on eBay and see how we go there anyway Anyway, guys, that's just about it for today. A nice quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like. It really helps me out. And a subscribe if you haven't already. A big thank you to all my subscribers. You guys rock. See you all next time. Bye.